All right, sixth grader, this is your 2019-2020 sixth grade literacy checkpoint test. I can only read the questions and answer choices. Please read the passage by yourself. Do your best. Use your strategies. You can pause at any time, and please go at your own pace. Number one, when the author states in paragraph three that Mr. Um, Lamont gives Sophia a frosty glance, she means that Mr. Lamont, A, looks unfriendly, B, looks at her kindly, C, sees that Sophia is cold, or D, is feeling chilly. Number two. When the author states in paragraph nine that Sophia could feel the blood rising to her cheeks, she means that Sophia, F, is angry with Barry, G, feels very warm, H, is embarrassed, or J has cut her cheeks. Number three, how is Barry's reaction to Sophia's problem different from Ruby's reaction? A, Barry feels sorry for Sophia, but Ruby is angry with her. B, Barry knows how Sophia feels, but Ruby does not understand. C, Barry is angry with Sophia, but Ruby feels sorry for D. Barry is glad that Sophia has a problem, but Ruby helps her. Number four. What is the purpose of Sophia's red folder? F. To help her organize her school desk. G. To carry loose papers in her backpack. H. To keep her science notes in order. J. To hold her homework assignments. Number five. Why does the author show Sophia's thoughts? A, to show how she feels about what happened. B, to show how angry she is with Barry. C, to show how different she is from Ruby. Or D, to show how Mr. Lamont reacts to her problem. Number six. What is the best evidence that Ruby is a good friend to Sophia? F, Ruby laughs when Sophia shows up soaking wet. G, Ruby does not laugh at Barry's comments. H, Ruby does not mention Sophia's problems over lunch. J, Ruby shares her lunch with Sophia. Number seven, Mr. Lamont looks at Barry in order to A, quiet him, B, ignore him, C, admire him, D, anger him. As used in paragraph four, what does the word prohibited mean? F, forbade. G, frightened. H, deprived. J, excused. As used in paragraph seven, what does the word presided? Recited mean. A, employed. B, avoided. C, ended. D, lived. Number 10, what probably happens after the story ends? F, Miss Adams begins a lecture. G, Lisa tells Miss Adams about her job. H, Lisa sees visitors in the hallway. J, Miss Adams closes the door. Number 11, paragraph two of the story is mainly about A, the fame of Whole House, B, Lisa's Desire to help at Whole House, at Whole House. C, Lisa's discomfort with visitors. <clears throat> or D, the activities at Whole House. 12, what is one reason that Lisa stops working at the factory? F, the child labor law is passed. G, her father becomes a citizen. H, her brother get good jobs. Her brother gets good jobs. J. Miss Adams teaches her to type. What is the one reason that Lisa stops working at the factory? Number 13. Which statement is most likely true of the Fabrizi family? A. They see little need for education. B, they are hard workers. C, they are 
They are artistic. D, they like the place at Whole House. 14, read this sentence from paragraph one. A play was being rehearsed a chorus of small children was practicing the alphabet, and art students were hanging their works for a show that would be held that evening. What is the most likely reason the author included this sentence? F, to describe the effect of the child labor law. G, to show examples of cheerful activity. H, to show why things need to be neatly arranged. J, to explain why Lisa prefers quiet activities. 15, as used in paragraph eight, what does the word emphasized mean? A, insisted. B, explained. C, agreed. D, ignored. Sixteen, what is the best summary of the story? F. Lisa Fabrizi, a teenager in the early 1900s, is visiting Whole House. Whole House is a settlement house that provides housing, education, and more to new immigrants. Jane Addams, the founder of Whole House, fights for child labor laws and mandatory education. Ms. Adams encourages Lisa to maintain hope and create a better future for herself. G. Lisa Fabrizi, a teenager in the early 1900s, is visiting Hull House. Lisa's family immigrates to the United States and with Jane Addams' help, is able to profit from the establishment of Hull House. Hull House, a settlement house dedicated to helping new immigrants, transforms Lisa's life. H. Lisa Fabrizi, a teenager in the early 1900s, is visiting Hull House. Lisa is amazed by the cheerful activities going on all around. Jane Adams opened the settlement house to provide housing, child care, and education to new immigrants and help them find work in Chicago. Miss Adams' efforts completely changed Lisa's family and their way of life. J. Lisa Fabrizi, a teenager in the early 1900s, is visiting Hull House. She works in a stale factory until the child labor laws are passed in 1903. Now she is taking typing lessons and going to work in, in an office with the hopes of attending college. Thanks to Jane Adams and Hull House, Lisa and her family have much to look forward to. 17, according to the story, which of the following events occurs last? A. Lisa pauses at the top of the stairs. B, Hull House is established. C, the child labor law is passed. D, Lisa approaches the library. 18, why does the author describe Hull House as freshly scrubbed and neatly arranged in the factory where Lisa and Allegra used to work as being a stale, dark environment? F, to show that the girls try to keep things tidy and organized. G, to show the sharp contrast between two places. H, to show the similarities between the two places. J, to show that the girls want to make the factory like Whole House. At this time, please make sure to follow your teacher's directions on what to do after the test. And that was your 2019-2020 sixth grade literacy checkpoint one test. Make sure to bubble in your answers dark and neat.